Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Morning Cup, sponsored by Kestrel Aircraft. Good morning and welcome to day five of Oshkosh Air Venture 2014. This is Todd Lohenry, manager of digital and social media for Kestrel Aircraft. And I'm here with Lynn Freeman, president of Build-A-Plane. Lynn, can you tell us about Build-A-Plane and what it is that you do there? What Build-A-Plane does is try to put real airplanes in the high schools around the United States so the kids get a chance to build a real plane while they're in school. Okay. And what would a school have to do in order to partner with you around one of these projects? It's very easy. They log on to our website, which is buildaplane.org. And on the home page, they'll find a button that says start a project. They can just click that button. There'll be a, a field, a form field for them to fill out that just gives us basic contact information and some ideas about what they're interested in. And that uh, gets us going. What are some of the benefits both for pilots and for schools that get involved in the program? Well, it's really an amazing opportunity because what kids do by building a real airplane is they're, they're learning hands-on skills and at the same time they're acquiring skills and information uh, about all kinds of STEM opportunities, science, technology, engineering, and math. And, and the, the, we like to think that we're actually building kids as opposed to just building airplanes because kids tell us that their lives are enriched by building a real airplane. This airplane that's behind us, uh, this airplane that's beside us, these were all built by kids and these are high school kids that came into our project really not knowing much about aviation, having any ideas about aviation and tell us at the end that they want to now become pilots, aviation technicians, engineers, mechanics, those kinds of things. So it really has a tremendous impact on who they are. Now, is this the kind of program where you have to be in a bigger high school or, or a bigger town in order to participate? Not at all. At the very beginning, we actually flew to Duluth and talked with Alan. And Alan was a tremendous inspiration for us since he, as a kid, had built airplanes. And he kind of gave us uh, an idea of the impact that building an airplane can have. And, and so we're able to get airplanes to just about anywhere uh, in the world. We moved an airplane from Bangalore, India into the United States up all the way up into Anchorage where it was then taken by several different freight haulers and ultimately went by a snow machine to an Eskimo village and that airplane was completed. So the good news for folks in Algoma, Wisconsin is that even Algoma, Wisconsin could have a program like this by working with Build-A-Plane. In, uh, in closing, I just wanted to ask you, Len, what do you think about the show and, and what's the general mood here this year? You know, I think everybody's been very optimistic. I, I get tired of uh, hearing doom and gloom and, you know, aviation is here. It's, it's accessible. It's available and, and things are moving forward and it's, it's time just to go have a good time. So, in closing, could you uh, give us the uh, web address where people can find you? You bet, Todd. We are at buildaplane.org. Good. Nice, easy address to remember. You can find this interview and many more at themorningcup.net. Thanks for watching.